less than 1% of the population give a damn about any political activism, don't they? Less than 1%, 1 in 100. Yeah. Yeah? So the big question of emancipation isn't about uh, will I be free today or tomorrow, but am I working on, on a, on a uh, process that sta potentially stands the test of time in history? Now, that's something that I can't answer for you because I can't presume that. That's going to be at a community level and it's going to be by those that follow me at, at a grassroots level and those of you that, that choose to stand up and take it forward because I, I as one man, can't save the world. Well, never, I hope to take it forward, my friend. Okay. Let's, let's take the middle one about making money. You're obviously intelligent. It's about sitting up and saying, I've got to, at the end of the day, I've got to do things that are smart. I've got to do things that, that take my energy and put it in a positive way. Some people take that energy and say, how do I make money off their system or how do I find a magic hole? Um, and I'd say to you that, that whilst that is uh, a not, uh, you know, I'm not making a judgment one way or the other, I would say that if you're smart enough to, to work out holes in their system, you're smart enough to help others make money and collectively do plans and, and do things that actually create something for people. And back to your immediate issue of saving your car, um, I, I'd say to you this, it's the same as someone saying to a police officer, I'm a sovereign. I'd say to you, the next thing that's going to happen is you're probably tased. Yeah? <laughs> right? Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah. don't be a masochist. Yeah? Correct, yeah. All right? Yeah. If, if, the, if the big wheels are turning, don't stand in front of them. There will always be another day. Right? Life, right. Doesn't, it, life isn't destroyed by a car. But the next thing you can do is plan your life and work with others in ways that you can retain more of your equity. And that's the whole point of these co communities and, and, and generating uh, your own currency. The system steals 80% of your energy, at least 80% of it goes, and leaves you a pittance. So if you are that motivated to see that your energy is retained, get your friends together, work on your own currency, Work at how you can barter together and start retaining that energy, right? That's a nice plan. So that means uh, I should go forward with my debt uh, seminar and show people that they can fight the bogus debt with, set with these five letters of debt. It's been proven. People are doing it. They're showing me, show me the bill, show me the wet signature, show me the contract, and then the debt collection agencies back off right away. So well, I have that information. That's, that's, sure. Well, I mean, share your knowledge. Um, try not to be one man against the whole world because uh, as noble as that image of the guy in front of the tanks in Tiananmen yeah. Square was, yeah. uh, you know, he died. No, he lived um, actually. Did he? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've made, you've made my year. There you go. I thought I, I was told he died. So if he no, lived, I did enough right. research. I've seen him. He was in another footage and he was alive. Yeah, well, uh, well there you go. Uh, a, a rare event. Um, so, yeah, All just... Right, just yeah, work with it and see how you go. Okay. Yeah, because they've been saying, send the same thing to the car. Send them proof of debt, da-da-da. You do that with them, they'll come and steal the car. So I couldn't do that with them. And I thought, well, if I get the classical deed poll, I put the car in a trust, then ask for proof of death, debt, they can't touch the car because it's in a private trust. Correct, but, but you're dealing, because, and I'm sorry, I'm not saying, you're dealing with a moronic behavior. I'm not saying a debt collector is a moron, but you're dealing with a moronic behavior. They're trained to be stupid and mm -hmm. act stupidly. So... You're dealing with stuff that's far too sophisticated for your average debt collector. Yeah? Right. Okay, right. thank good you very much for your time, Frank. No, good on you. Thank you for your questions. Thank you. Uh, all right, we have, uh, let's see, Be Free 1958. Are you there? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Frank. I have a couple of questions. I, I've been um, doing a lot of study. Uh, first question is in reference to credit uh, and credit bureaus, is there anything that is in one of the sites that addresses the crux of how to defeat the control that the credit bureaus have over our information? Is there anything at all? I haven't got anything to show you on the remedy for credit agencies at the moment, no. 
Okay. What I would what I what I'd say to you is that I have heard of a number of people that have done different things to zero out the credit agencies, and unlike, for example, the example of the debt collector that we spoke of, credit agencies are more sophisticated, uh, and in many cases are very sophisticated entities, so that you can in fact do certain things and set offs with them, but. I do not have anything up there at the moment that I can offer you and say, if you consider that, that might be a particular answer to you. So I'm sorry I can't give you an answer on that right now, but it is an issue for a lot of people. And obviously, if you can't, if you have a bad credit rating, you can't get a loan. Um, I will come back to this, though. Our goal is not to prop up the system. So our goal is as soon as the deeds of trust are ready, we can get the local banks and the network between the local banks and local currencies working and it's through that system that I encourage you to look at ways to share equity and share capital. Okay, but uh, I know it's a short-term issue. It's a major issue. You've got to survive until that's ready in the next few months. But right now, I don't have anything I can show you. I'm sorry. Okay, and, and thanks a lot for that. And just a couple of quick other things. When, when a person is experiencing a damage to their name in reference to um, based on uh, going through a court, proceeding and process, and even before you get to the end of the process, they have placed all of these things in the docket, and if you're applying for anything and anybody goes in and looks, they see that this case and felony and all these other things. Is there anything within um, the sites that may address that, that you're aware of, that the damage to a person's character, the name uh, that these entries cause and how to get we consider it under the codes, the Ucadian codes, and Ucadian has got a whole lot of codes of law that we've developed. We've done 10 of them, and we've got another 23 to do. Uh, but uh, one of them is the criminal code. And we consider the slandering of someone's name, as as most systems do, to to be a to be a crime. I mean, um, uh, it may be handled in this kind of civil type way, but it's still a crime. It's still an offence. Um, as far as the system is concerned. They claim the name as, as theirs, so they do with it as they will. Uh, you are the uh, tenant of the name, you are the uh, user, and you may choose or not to be, choose to be the surety. So the short answer is, in their system, clearing your name is, is clearing the record. And to get them to clear a record is to render effectively uh, the value of the case worthless. Um, so I would suggest you read the notes on how to succeed at court and view the monetary value that's associated with it. But there isn't a short, sorry, give me one sec. There's no short answer to that question at this point of, of, uh, of how to deal with, with, with a slandering of name in their system. Sorry for that. I'll be one, be one sec. Okay. Did you have any other questions for Frank? Uh, I, I do. Yeah. I do. And then, oh. then I, would, I do. Okay. And I'm just, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, cool. I'm just, yeah. Right. So I'll be, I'll be literally one minute, one sec. Okay. Okay, just for um, everyone's information again, if you're on the phone lines and you'd like to ask a question, and this is the same each week, star eight, put you in the question and answer queue. Also visit the um, website, university.ucadia.info. You can become a member and join in on the forum. Take a look around. There's recordings and uh, documents yeah. there. So if you Thanks, visit university, yeah, university.ucadia.info. All right, back to the question. Okay, and the um, I guess the last question: Have have you done any research on whether or not the word name has been copywritten by any organization or some person? How they claim the right to the word name? How they can just well, name, own it? Yeah, the, the the reason name is so important to them is that name comes from the Latin nomen, n o m e n. And what it means is it means a record in a, in a slave ledger. So when they ask for the name, they're asking, they're asking effectively two things. 
uh, they're asking you to, to recall a name which belongs to a register, which therefore means you're under their personal jurisdiction. So by responding in your name, you've accepted jurisdiction. And secondly, you've accepted that you're a slave. Now, most judges wouldn't understand the slave aspect because, to be perfectly honest, most people in the world wouldn't even believe that slavery still exists. They, they're just not trained, they don't know, and they'd probably laugh at that. But they certainly understand the aspect of the name. They understand that name refers to a record in the register administered by Vital Statistics and therefore gives them jurisdiction to hear the matter before them. So that's why they are big on the word name. All right? Okay. Okay. And last question. As far as grassroots efforts, who do I contact by phone or email to, to get something started in the area that I'm in? Well, what I'd do is I'd encourage you to go to the forum. Um, we're not ready yet to, to, to we're not ready at this point to start because the deeds are not being finalized in order to, to encourage it to state by state level. But what you can do is start making people aware that these things are happening. And that is that is a crucial part of it because there is a lot of reading to get into this, just to get your head around what's this about, who's involved, why, and that is, I think, is a really good thing. But the forums is one way to to start seeing other people. And as I said, as you register on the Great Register, when it comes time, I'm going to ask everyone that is registered for their permission, and not everyone's going to say yes, but in order to share within their state those that have registered within their state so you can start connecting up. Okay? okay? Okay, thank you. All right. All right, great. Thank you for your question. We have Idaho on the phone line. Are you there? Hello, Idaho? Hello, good evening. Thanks so very much. I'm a relatively new listener, um, student, and... Uh, Hi. Well, maybe I should turn this speaker off. I was... Uh, putting this on a stick so that I could study the issues at the same time. I'm going to drop off the speaker if it's uh, uh, interrupting the uh, level of communication. I had, uh, going back to your discussion of the, um, of the, and I understand I'm not sure I'm couching this question correctly, and I'm here by virtue of uh, one of your friends and advocates, uh, the lady had called in in regard to the trust, and um, I have the documentation in the other room. Uh, I had submitted uh, Michael Grady, PSAL, um, our Lord's Trust, with a specific RCN number to State of Tennessee, Secretary of State, Governor, Department of Public Safety, uh, at all uh, in regard to issue of right of travel. This was in '93. I still yeah. re I still retain I still retain uh, the uh, mail receipts. I still retain the mail receipts as well as all the addresses and names of the associated administrative heads, state of Tennessee. However, and it's somewhat convoluted, and I don't mean it to be, but I want to be fair and complete disclosure. When I did this, I incorporated and used my believed, understood, Best Belief Adoptive Name, World War II, 1945, but I incorporated it with and in the same form as um, uh, David Michael Grady out of uh, Florida. And I can run into the other room and get the specific information if it would help oh, that's you. That's right, that's right. Um, okay. Tell you what's really exciting about it, and I'm sorry to just cut you off there. I need to say, look, I, I appreciate you sharing that you found a remedy quite some time ago in in approaching officials at a state level and getting them to recognise 
your right to travel. What, what I'd say is 